Hey everyone, this video is for 7.8 geometric sequences. Congrats, we made it to the end of the chapter, and also another positive thing is that this lesson is quite quick. So let's talk about what a geometric sequence is. In a geometric sequence, the ratio of any term to its preceding term is a constant value. Constant just means it's the same number over and over again. So now on your note sheet, this is the only thing that you have right here and also right here. Let's focus a geometric sequence with a starting value A and a common ratio R is in the form of this right here. So as you can see, we have the A each time. The only difference is that we're multiplying by R over and over again. So the key idea here is we're multiplying by the same number. So you can write that on the side. Multiplying by the same number number over and over again. And this is actually related to exponential functions that we've been talking about. Um, each geometric sequence has a starting value and a common ratio. The starting value and the common ratio define a unique geometric sequence. Let's look at our example. Which of the following are geometric sequences? So what you want to do is just look for the pattern. So draw your arrows. We have done something similar like this in the past. And we are multiplying by 10 each time. Yes, this is the same number. So that means this is a common ratio. And the ratio is going to be 10. That's the number we keep multiplying by. And yes, this is a geometric sequence. So let's write that now. Okay, part B. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So first of all, in order to figure out if it's geometric or arithmetic, let's try to see if it's geometric. Times 2, then 4 times 1.5 is 6. 6 times 1.33 is 8. 8 times 1.25 is 10. And the way that I figured out that number is it just did 4 over 2, 6 over 4, 8 over 6, and 10 over 8. So you, to figure that out, you just take the new number divided by the old number, the preceding one. So I'm hoping that you can see that that number is not the same number. So that means this is not going to be ge geometric. So let's write that. There is no common ratio. Remember, ratio just means number we keep multiplying by. So this means that the sequence is not geometric. However, let's figure out if it's arithmetic. And the way that you do that is you see if you can add the same number over and over again. So let's do some arrows on top. And yes, we are adding the number 2. Plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, and plus 2. So, yes, this is arithmetic because the common difference is 2. And remember, common difference just means the number you keep adding or subtracting. Part C, 5, negative 5, 5, negative 5, 5. Well, let's see if, is there a number that we can multiply by? Let's see, times negative 1, times negative 1, times negative 1, and one more time, times negative 1. Ah, so it is the same number over and over again we're multiplying by. So yes, this se sequence is geometric because we have a common ratio of r equals negative 1. Okay, now we have a couple got it practice problems right below. We just need to figure out if it's geometric or not, or arithmetic. 3, 6, 12, 24, 48. 
in order to get the next term, we must continually multiply by 2. So because this common ratio is 2, we have a geometric sequence. We are continually multiplying by 2. Next one, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Well, the first one we multiply by 2, and the second one we multiply by 3 halves. Remember, I just do the 9 over 6, etc., 12 over 9. That does not work. It's not the same number, so this is not geometric. And you can write in parentheses, not multiplying by the same number. Now let's check to see if it's arithmetic. Is there a number we can keep adding? And the answer is yes. We can add 3 over and over again to get to the next term. So that means that this is arithmetic because we are adding 3 each time. D equals 3. Last one, 4, 7, 11, 16, and 22. I think you can just look at this one and tell that it's not geometric because there's no way to multiply the same number to get the next term in the sequence. And if you want to check for to see if it's arithmetic, add 3, add 4, add 5, that's not arithmetic either because we are not multiplying by the same number and we are not adding the same number. So there you have it. You have seen various examples of geometric sequences, arithmetic sequences, and one that was neither. Here is the lesson check. It's nice and quick. If you feel comfortable, try it right now. If not, at least try the 7.7 .7 lesson check and we will practice these together tomorrow.